At Government House, Auckland, New Zealand, the lying in state of Queen Salotti, her casket draped with the personal standard of the Tongan royal family. During the three days lying in state, more than 4,000 people pay their respects at the beer, and members of the Tongan community maintain a round-the-clock vigil beside their much-loved queen. New Zealand servicemen alternate a guard of honour in solemn tribute. To accompany Queen Salotti on the last journey to her homeland, a gathering of royal mourners, including the Tongan Prime Minister and the Crown Prince. Internationally known as the friendly queen of the friendly isles, Salotti's kingdom was among the world's smallest, but certainly among the happiest, largely due to her mildly progressive and benign rule. A movie time flashback shows the queen greeted by Prince Tungi arriving in Sydney in 1935. An always popular figure, both abroad and at home, she entertained Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip during the royal tour of 54. In traditional style, a tremendous feast was held to honour the royal guests. The island kingdom is today a British protectorate, but Salotti's dynasty goes back more than a thousand years. Her most frequent trips were to Australia and New Zealand, to whom she turned in Tonga's programme of modernisation. The end of a long reign of 45 years, and perhaps the end of an era, as the gun carriage draped with ceremonial mats bears her body to the airport. The casket is carried to the RNZAF Hercules over a hundred yards of royal tarpa mats lined by 60 Tongan mourners seated cross-legged. Salotti's second home was Auckland, no doubt influenced by the fact that New Zealanders were the first white people to treat Polynesians as equals. But this smiling queen became known and loved throughout the world.